Father buries his son, then days later receives a creepy call from the grave. Frank Kerrigan was an 82-year-old man from California who had always been worried about his son, also named Frank. On a beautiful Friday morning, Frank woke up to multiple phone calls on his cell phone. When Frank finally answered the phone, he realized that it was the coroner's office calling to inform him that his son had passed away. He learned from the officers that his 57-year-old son had been found dead behind a Verizon store. Shocked and heartbroken, Frank asked if he should come down to confirm that the body was indeed his son. However, the authorities were busy and reassured him that there was no need as they had already verified his son's identity through fingerprints. Frank drove together with his wife to collect the body and spent over $20,000 on his son's funeral. After the ceremony, Frank returned home, and a few weeks later, he received a phone call that left him speechless. Find out what happened in part two. Father buries his son, then days later he gets a creepy call from the grave, part two. Frank was devastated at the loss of his 57-year-old son, but despite the sadness, he still spent $20,000 on his funeral. Upon returning home, Frank immersed himself in grief for his beloved 57-year-old son when his phone unexpectedly rang. Frank didn't feel like talking to anybody, but for some strange reason, felt like he had to pick up the phone. What the person on the other side of the phone told Frank is so shocking you will not believe it. The man on the other side of the phone was Frank's best friend Bill, revealing the shocking news that his son was alive. The family immediately contacted authorities to let them know that Frank Jr. was, in fact, alive. It turned out that officials couldn't match the fingerprints of the dead person with any records in the law enforcement database and instead identified him using an old driver's license photo. Apparently, Frank was so overcome by grief at the funeral that he didn't notice the man in the casket wasn't his son. But Frank and his family were overjoyed that his son was still alive and are now seeking legal action against those responsible for the $20,000 they spent on the funeral.